Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Variant 6, Chapter 3, Quest Number 2. So that is the final quest of this variant that we will be completing today. So uh, as you can see, I am going to the left. That is the path I think is the easiest. Now, at the time of making this video, I've already... Uh, fully explored uh, Variant 6. That kingpin down to the right gave me a little problem. I don't know why, but I was able to get him down without needing a revive. All right, so if you've been following the series, you know that bringing in a non-villain champion, uh, you can do it for synergies, but fighting with them is not a good idea. All right, now the node here is beautiful look at what venom is doing so the node uh on a armor break you do a power burn okay and if you're under a uh, armor up effect then you actually um i think the armor up is the power burn and the armor break is the power lock combined means that you can do what you just saw me doing there. Just spam heavies in the corner. They're not gonna get uh, their power. And uh, even if they did get a little power, if you're under the armor up, then you're gonna burn that power away anyway. So if it takes you a little bit to get to it, that's fine if you have an armor up. So you want a villain that can do an armor break and possibly an armor up, but you don't need the armor up. Just the armor break is enough. Uh, now, another tip is Dr. Doom with uh, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but I brought Mr. Fantastic on. Uh, and that's because, as you see here, he's putting an armor break on his heavy attack. That is because of the Mr. Fantastic synergy. And for this node, it's perfect. Now, you have to be careful about Dr. Doom because he slides out a little bit. And eventually, you're going to go so far back that you can't um, hit them with your heavy. So you got to be careful. Now, I want you guys to know something. I watched uh, KT1 do this fight, and he got wrecked, just like what you see happening there. For some reason, this guillotine, her reaction is faster or recovery, something. And I went through here, even after watching... KT1 get wrecked, I went through here and I was trying to be careful, still got wrecked. Okay, so this is actually the second time I'm going in on this path because it's only like, what, the second fight? All right, so I decided to just go ahead and take it slow. Uh, I went, she wrecked me that first time. I said, nope, let's restart it. It's only uh, two fights in. This time we got through, did not lose anyone. No man left behind. So you see that one star chest right there that I just picked up? That's usually an indication that the path is considered by Kabam to be the easy path. That node that you saw is beautiful. It's what made this so much fun, okay? So the strategy is gonna be pretty much the same. All right, now you see I didn't have a armor up. So you see he has a little bit of power, but I power locked him with my heavy attack, but he still has power, okay? Um, that's because I don't have the armor up um, buff. But once I do, I'll be good. Now, he can be a little tricky uh, because of the uh, glancing. But once you get him, now see, I have it, we're good. Um, there's an armor up uh, effect there. And so I drained all of his power. And now it's off to the races. All right. So Venom, even a four star Venom will work. Now, this Venom is not even uh, max rank. This is a rank four or five star Venom. So if you have a six star, if you have a four star, even if you have a, a, a three star, it'll be a long fight. But you can do it because this right here can be done with a three-star. Two-star if you're careful, okay? 
So I like to finish it off with the special three, as you noted, because I could have continued hammering him with those heavy attacks. Uh, I may take Venom up. Uh, back, I don't know how long ago it was, um, I got a six-star Nexus. And Venom was one of them and Doctor Strange. Everyone was saying, wow, why did you pick Doctor Strange instead of Venom? I already had the five-star Venom. As you can see, when I need him, he works just fine. Uh, I may rank him up uh, to five at some point in time, though. All right, so on to the next. And we've got White Magneto. Remember that if you're used to fighting him, his specials are reversed. So his uh, special one is his old special two. And his special two is his old special one, okay? So we're going to get in here, and we're just trying to push him to the corner. That's the main thing we want to do. Push him to the corner, uh, get that parry, and then boom. Armor break, armor break, armor break, and just keep going. All right, so it's this node, this combination of things that made this so easy. Uh, I believe this variant is, if not the easiest, one of the easiest. Now, my choice for my favorite variant is variant three ghost wrecked it okay i ended up using like five revives for all exploration now for this particular uh variant venom mvp magneto uh in in another node uh is an mvp but for this particular node venom uh dr doom with the mr fantastic synergy are the mvps all right so uh, if you have them in any, any tier, bring them, okay? Now, we do end up having a little trouble later on. We end up using a revive, um, I think a couple of revives uh, on here. As soon as I saw this mojo, I was like, oh, no. Because usually you do not want to go up against mojo with someone who has a lot of buffs. And Venom gets a lot of buffs. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, who do I want to bring in here? And I'm like, okay, well, let's go on in, heal up a little bit, and uh, see what we can do. So I decided to go in with Dr. Doom because I didn't want to deal with uh, Venom with all of those buffs and the D-Gen that Mojo was going to put on him. All right, so... Uh, I'm just going in, trying to get him into the corner. Got that shock on him. That's good. Getting that stun. Boom. He's in that corner with his big butt. All right. And we're just trying to keep him in there. Just just keep pounding on him. That's it. Pound on him. Pound on him. And look at how Dr. Doom is slightly going out a little ways. You got to be careful about that because you will whip. Now, what happened there? I do not know. He just stopped. He dropped the input, would not fire his heavy, because that's all I was trying to do was fire heavies off, right? And suddenly he just stood there. And so I, I'm like, okay, you know what? We gotta, um, you know, pull this back. I fired off that special three, try and get that little reset, get him back in the corner. All right, boom, boom, boom. We're still trying to hit him. He's power locked, but he didn't get any power drain. That's what I missed. Uh, I was used to doing Venom, and he would get the armor up, and it would drain his power. So he had a power uh, one, you know, special ready, and he definitely fired it off before I could do it. But he's almost dead, all right? And look at that. Venom just goes down just that quick. I'm like, he's almost dead. I just need to get him a little bit. So at this point, um, and, and I should let you guys know that even though I released these uh, videos in parts I actually went through and did the entire initial run all at once so my iPad is probably getting warm and uh, the battery is low that could be why uh, it started to perform a little bit um, badly uh, at this particular point in time all right but it's all good um, we got him down I knew Mojo was gonna cause me some grief he shouldn't have caused me as much grief as he did, though. Um, but 
it is what it is. Uh, as you saw, uh, there's still nothing wrong with using uh, Ghost. Ghost still wrecks this place. You don't have to use that node uh, combo with Venom and Mr. Fantastic and Doom. You can still just ghost it, okay? She's still perfectly fine. As you can see here, you know, we got those initial 10K crits because I'm running suicides and we converted the Fury, uh, converted the uh, Bleed and Poison to Furies. And so at this point, we're just ghosting it up. Now you can play her in a couple of different ways. Uh, I tend to play her pretty simply like this. Um, do one hit, let them miss once, twice to build up my uh, you know power a little bit. Really just depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, at this particular point in time, since I already suffered from a couple of dropped inputs, I wasn't risking it, all right? So I just did the simple one hit, you know, and, and not worry about it. Now this guy can sometimes be a royal pain. I mean, he, he, he is so annoying. I still cannot counter his heavy attack or anything like that. But Ghost, on the other hand, can do it. So I, you know, let him miss a couple of times to get my rhythm. And now you see I'm just doing, you know, basic game, uh, basic ghost game play here. Uh, nothing special. One hit. Fire off that uh, special two. Now he has a special two and he catches me. Now I was sitting there and I was surprised, okay? Because when I pushed him to a special two, I thought I was phased, but he still hit me. Now that's probably something that I don't know about Masakri because I thought I was safe, you know, but he still got me. And I'm like, okay, what just happened? So now I, I got to use a revive. There's I got nobody left uh, to use. You know, you can't use Mr. Fantastic or Wasp. They will die, you know. And so I'm just like, man, I knew he was going to be a, a, a thorn in my side. He usually is. Okay, so I'm like, all right. We got, as you can see, plenty of revive. So that's not a problem. Didn't bother healing up. Because if you play Ghost well, which I don't always... You don't need to use it. Now, you saw how I was just standing there? That's also a bug with Ghost. Sometimes she just doesn't move. And it always happened in the beginning. She just will stand there, and I'm phased, and that's it. Okay, now you see what I'm doing here? That's because I already got killed by his uh, special one. I mean, a special two attack. So I'm like, no, I don't want no special two no more. Don't want to eat that. Okay, and we almost got him. Almost got him. Okay, now, that one seemed to work. I, I, I Honestly, I don't know what happened there. And look, this is what I'm telling you guys, see? 10% battery life. Uh, I've been playing all day and running through this thing, you know, restarting sometimes uh, when I needed to, if it was like the first fight or two, like I was, you know, telling you guys earlier. Um, but um, we, 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 we're going to make it. We're going to make it. You know, I should have just charged up the phone at this point, but I'm stubborn. Now, I've often had issues fighting him, okay? His animations, I'm still not the most comfortable, especially with his specials, because one of his specials has a projectile, and then you see that. Um, he gets me like that, just like, um, hell, uh, well, Daredevil, I was gonna say um, uh, Daredevil Netflix, but the new Daredevil, Hell's Kitchen, uh, he catches me because he also has that double medium. And, and I just don't, for some reason, he, he sometimes does it, sometimes doesn't. You know, like there, he's like one, one. And I just don't get it. I, I, I don't know. Sometimes he just catches me. You know, I go in and I'm thinking that he's only going to swipe, you know, swing once like I'm doing here. And then he comes out with, you know, a doo doo, one, you know, and catches me. So. I don't know. And I think, yeah, I, like I said, I, I don't know. At this point, I should have just let the phone put, my, I mean, uh, my iPad, put my iPad down, let it rest, recharge, and go back in. You know, we're on the final stretch here. And that's why I said, you know what? Ghost, take a nap. Just, just rest. Because this guy, 
this has happened to me before where he just does something that I was unexpecting. All right. And Ghost just, I don't know. I can, I've, I've taken him out one shot with Ghost, but then there's just some times where he just, I'm just off, you know? And so I'm just like, you know what? No more of that. We already used, and like I said, if I had done this earlier, just revived, you know, we would have been okay. All right. So you see here, I'm just sitting here for a little bit. I'm trying to calm myself down because that really got me tilted. I shouldn't have died that many times uh, with Ghost, you know, and earlier dying with Venom and, and, and Dr. Doom. Simple mistakes that uh, could have been avoided. All right. So here you go. We're going in again. Do that armor break so that we get that power lock on him. Um, but he's not power locked. And I remember looking here and I'm like, okay, why isn't he power locked? Uh, I didn't look at the nodes if I remember correctly. Uh, so he may not have had that node on him. Uh, but, you know, he's not that difficult to fight anyway. So bait out his specials. And uh, may not be able to do the heavy spam in the corner like we've been doing, but it's all good. And then I'm doing, I'm getting degen. I'm like, what in the world? But Venom is a beast. Venom, Venom got him down, you know, without using the corner spam. Uh, so it was all good. All right. So now we come to the final boss of variant six. And it is Joe Fixit. Now, as I've said, uh, I have already explored this. I've gotten one shots on him already um, using, um, I believe I used Ghost to get a one shot uh, one time and I used Venom to get the one shot. Um, I don't think I used Doom uh, to do the one shot, but Venom and Ghost, I've, I've gotten a one shot on him. Now I'm going in with Wasp to soften him up. This is my initial clear. Okay, so this is the first time I'm... Um, uh, dealing with him at all. All right, just look at that damage. Go Wasp. Look at that. That's some nice damage, okay? And I don't mind it at all. I'm just trying to get as much damage done to him as possible. That was like an 18K crit, and I already knew he was going to do that. That was all right. And he, you know, basically Wasp walked into his fist. She was going to die regardless. You saw the degen that she was taking. Uh, Non-villain... Uh, champions will get that degen and they're gonna die cheat death doesn't matter you can't use corvus um so i was like okay you know i got a little bit of a feel she you know chewed him up a little bit you know took a bite out of his uh thigh or something all right and uh you can see that i hit the fight you see how long it took before it started the fight because my battery is low so i'm trying to hurry up now and finish this so i want to get him in the corner um, we've got the armor break. He's not gaining power. Pushed him to a corner, and boom! Now we're off to the races. So if you want to know how I got the one shot on him, you're looking at it. You know, whether I went in with Wasp first or not, this is exactly what I would do to get the one shot. And that's what I did. Uh, after this first initial clear, I just brought Venom and we just kept one-shotting him. But I got bored, and I know I used Ghost once. Ghost and Venom to get the one-shot, but I don't believe I ever used uh, Doom on it. But, yeah, so this node makes this easy. You know, if you play, if you don't have, you know, any mistakes, if you don't play like me, um, and don't ask me what happened there, uh, I think I got a drop input and I dashed back uh, because I was worried. Uh, and then we got a reset and went back in. But uh, Joe Fix It, if you bring in somebody that has the armor break like Venom or Doom with Mr. Fantastic Synergy, you're going to have an easy time taking down uh, Joe Fix It here. That's it. That's all. All right. And we end it with a special three from our favorite venom all right guys so that is going to do it for this video hope it helped you guys out when you go through your 
initial uh, run and clear. Uh, but take care. Uh, leave a comment. If you uh, would like to leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this video. How did your run go? Uh, you know, was this video helpful to you at all? Let me know. Uh, if you haven't given me a subscription, feel free to give me that subscription. And uh, I'm just looking here. Yep. All right. There we go. That's all the rewards that we got. 3,000 uh, six star uh, shards, two to three gem. And we're going to have a video coming out where you'll see how I use my two to three gems and all that good stuff. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.